the colossal elephant, the intimidating birds, the barrel-like hippo, the towering giraffe, the gigantic whale, which is the biggest of them all. The lush tropical forests of Asia hold within them some of nature's mightiest creatures. Each of these silent footsteps carries with it the immense weight of the world's largest land mammal. Standing at over three meters high with a body six meters long and tusks that are longer than most humans stand, weighing in at over five tons, the power and majesty of the elephant is undeniable. In the Hindu religion, the elephant-headed Ganesh is worshipped as the deity of intellect and wisdom and the sacred remover of obstacles. It is commonly believed that a goddess created Ganesh in order to guard her privacy. Asian elephants are extremely social and live in matriarchal family groups. Most of their time is spent eating. Their average daily intake is 150 to 200 kilograms of leaves, roots, barks, and shrubs. The trunk of the elephant is an amazing multi-purpose tool. Formed by the fusion of its nose and upper lip, it contains a complex network of 150,000 muscles, giving it phenomenal flexibility. Preferring scrub forest in areas with shade, the range of most Asian elephants doesn't often exceed more than 50 square kilometers, although they will migrate with the seasons. With small eyes and poorer than average eyesight, elephants rely much more on their sense of smell and hearing. The tough wrinkled skin on their backs and sides is between two to three centimeters thick and is highly sensitive. Elephants need to take regular mud baths to insulate themselves from burning and moisture loss. With trunks that can hold 10 liters of water, these baths can be a chore as well as a pleasure. But without taking them regularly, their skin can suffer serious damage. Constant flapping of their huge ears ventilates the fine network of capillaries that run just beneath their paper-thin skin, adding to the overall cooling effect of bath time. The long, slender tusks of a male elephant can reach two meters in length. It has been found that elephants tend to either be right or left tusked, much in the same way humans are right or left-handed, with one tusk showing definite wear with age. After they reach sexual maturity, adult males enter a period called must. At these times, their testosterone levels skyrocket and they are prone to extreme aggression. As these colossal bodies collide, Huge feet that rest on pads of shock absorbent tissue try to stand firm against the phenomenal pushing force of their opponent. Although serious fights are rare, sparring with tusks of these proportions can never be taken lightly, and these behemoths will battle it out. The sweeping plains of Africa are home to the only land animal bigger than the Asian elephant. African elephants can be a ton heavier and a meter taller than their Asiatic cousins. But to get to that size takes a very long time. Elephants don't reach full maturity until they are 20 to 25 years old. Living in close-knit maternal groups, elephants form extremely tight social bonds. 
Their very wrinkled skin gives them more surface area from which they can lose heat in the baking temperatures. And they also trap moisture, which then takes longer to evaporate. To keep these massive bodies cool, these enormous animals need around 80 liters of water a day, although some can consume double that amount. An adult male can drink more than 200 liters of water in less than five minutes. Using their super sensory trunk to smell, elephants pass scent particles to a specialized organ on the roof of their mouths, often raising their trunks in the air to get an advance warning of any danger. Flapping its immense ears as it travels, African elephants' ears are twice the size of Asian elephants and are also used as a threat warning. Elephants communicate with deep rumbles at frequencies too low for human ears to detect. These rumbles and foot stompings can create seismic waves that travel over 20 kilometers and can be used as a form of communication. With a reach of seven meters, the 3.5 meter trunk of an African elephant stretches higher than all but one of the other grazers of the savanna. The two so-called fingers at the tip of the trunk have the same dexterity as an octopus leg and can grip the most delicate of leaves. When not eating, this colossal beast with its 52 kilogram skull and 20 kilo heart nuzzles its fellow behemoths affectionately. Are these modern day mammoths really the biggest animal on earth? Soaring grace and aerial prowess, birds dominate our skies. To remain the undisputed pioneers of the air, most bird species are feather light and relatively small. But the avian world is not without its giants. The largest birds in the world have sacrificed the power of flight and live with their feet firmly planted on the ground. The ostrich, the emu, and the prehistoric-looking cassowary. All three of these flightless big birds have evolved powerful legs with massive clawed toes. Uniquely, the ostrich has only two toes, an adaptation for high-speed running. Sprinting at 70 kilometers an hour, the ostrich is the fastest living bird on land. It is also the largest, standing at almost three meters and weighing in at 150 kilos. In spectacular courtship dances, males use their flightless wings as giant decorative fans, waving them as they throw their heads from side to side as neck and thigh blush red. Keeping lookout with the largest eyeball in the animal kingdom, there is only one creature that can outrun this giant bird. The massive ostrich can move over the landscape with strides up to five meters long. A continent away, in the arid landscapes and coastal dunes of Australia, runs the emu, the second tallest bird in the world. The shaggy appearance of the emu disguises a brilliant design. Their heat-absorbing feathers and insulating inner plumage prevent heat flowing into their skin, allowing them to thrive even in the midday temperatures of the outback. Keen-eyed and curious, 
Emus are known to follow and watch other animals. Although not as tall as the ostrich, the emu can reach nearly 2 meters and weigh over 50 kilograms. Their bodies fueled on a diet of plants, seeds, and insects. In the emu world, it's the males who look after the chicks, which for the first three months of their life are covered in camouflaging stripes. The chicks whistle gently as they forage. The whistling gets louder and more high-pitched if they lose sight of their ever-protective parent. They will stay with their father until they are fully grown. Among the ratites, the large flightless birds of the world, emus are not the only ones to provide all-male parental care. In the lush rainforest of tropical Australia lives the stocky, aggressive, and mighty cassowary. Shorter than the emu, but much heavier, the cassowary is the world's second weightiest bird. The 18-centimeter horn-like cask on top of its head adds to its bizarre and commanding appearance. Aggressive by nature and known to strike out with both immensely powerful legs, the cassowary has the power to disembowel. Their sharpened spike-like inner claw is 12 centimeters long. A diligent and protective parent, the male cassowary nurtures his chicks for between 9 and 18 months, teaching them the ways of the rainforest. This arrestingly magnificent bird is vital for the survival of the forest in which it lives. There are some rainforest fruits that only the cassowary is big enough to disperse, the seeds germinating more readily after passing through the bird. These mighty keepers of the forest walk as true giants amongst the birds. Lumbering across the land, the enormity of the barrel-like hippo is without question. Other grass eaters are frail by comparison. Its immense head leads its five-meter body and short, sturdy legs support its three tongues. Due to their ill temper, half-meter tusks and enormous size adult hippos are often considered the most dangerous animals in Africa. They frequently brush aside crocodiles if they're in their way. Hippos are semi-aquatic animals, spending 18 hours a day submerged in the shallow muddy waters of Africa's rivers and lakes. Despite being extremely thick, their skin is sensitive and needs to be kept moist. They produce a mucus that turns a pinky brown when exposed to the air, which acts as both a sunscreen and a moisturizer and may even protect them against infection. Vigorously wagging their tails to scatter dung and urine, both on land and in the water, it is likely that the scent sprayed by hippos while doing this helps them to recognize one another. Certain birds will also recognize their favorite hippo. Tiny oxpeckers spend most of their life on their giant partner's backs, gorging themselves on the pests and parasites that torment their hosts. 
The colossal mouth of the male hippo houses the most lethal of weapons. These thick tusks can grow to half a meter and are kept sharp as they grind with the upper canines. The gape of the hippo's jaw stretches to a phenomenal 150 degrees and gives it one of the most powerful bite forces in the entire animal kingdom. Yawning and showing off tusks is a powerful threat display. But if threats don't work, these aquatic titans will stab at each other, rearing up, slashing and biting. Fights can be a six-ton battle for the control of a section of river and the females within it. Weighing 40 to 45 kilos, mothers give birth to single calves that are born in the shallow waters. The female will have left the herd to give birth, and she and her meter-long newborn spend a week or two alone. By the time they join the group, they are firmly bonded and have a close and affectionate relationship. Although weaned at 12 months, by which time the young calf weighs a massive quarter of a ton, it will remain with its mother for several more years, and it's not uncommon to see a female with two or three offspring. In the physically close life of the river hippo, even young males are tolerated by the bull. Are these submerged barrels of power the biggest aquatic animals in the world? Standing taller than any other living animal in their towering majesty is the proud and elegant giraffe. With a grace of movement that defies its great height, adult giraffes stand six meters tall and their legs are higher than an average man. A fully grown male weighs in at over 1,600 kilos. The unique appearance and peaceful nature of the giraffe has captivated humans for centuries. The national emblem of Tanzania, the giraffe, represents visionary qualities and an ability to see life from all angles. With their giant legs moving in full stride, giraffes can gallop at phenomenal speeds, relying on the forward and backward motion of their undulating necks to keep them balanced. A giraffe's markings are unique, and while the color of its patches may vary slightly throughout its life, the pattern remains constant. When fully grown, this elongated animal is tall enough to peer through the window of a second-story building. Its endearing face is dominated by outrageously long eyelashes and huge eyes that are always on the lookout for danger. Lions hunting in packs are the only predators capable of taking down a large giraffe. Their presence always instills fear. Individual giraffes come and go freely from the open herds that these social animals live in, scattering vastly across the plains, peaceful occupants of all they see. The giraffe's lofty vantage point makes it a useful sentinel for other animals of the plains. Drinking for a giraffe is tricky business. Despite its colossal proportions, its neck is still too short to reach the ground, and it must splay its elegant legs to reach down and drink. Another animal keeps a watchful eye while they are in this vulnerable position. Dueling males evaluate each other's strength by intertwining their mighty necks and leaning against one another. When a fight ensues, they swing their huge necks aiming head and horns at their rival. With each landing blow, thuds echo across the plains. Once resolved, life on the savannah resumes for these otherwise peaceful giants. Could the towering height of this most elegant of beasts 
Make it the biggest animal on Earth. The mighty whale graces our oceans with a size and strength unrivaled on land. Three times longer than the tallest giraffe and weighing more than a dozen hippos, the beautiful humpback whale is most famed for its mystical and haunting song. Historically, Whales have been hunted with harpoons for their meat, blubber, and bone. The humpback population was drastically depleted. Following the massive decline in their numbers, many species are now protected. One of them, the blue whale, is the biggest animal alive. The largest animal known to have lived at any time in the history of our planet this gigantic creature can be over 30 meters long and lives entirely on tiny plankton. When they surface for a breath, they expel air through a blowhole that is the size of a small child before their 200-ton body glides gracefully back under the sea. Swimming in an incredible 20 knots, the tail of these majestic creatures can be over seven meters wide. Under the surface of the water, the ghost-like form of these incomparable shimmering mammals is powered by a heart the size of a car, sending out a beat that can be detected from over three kilometers away. These incredible blue whales really are the true giants of our world. Gliding through the tropical and temperate waters of our oceans is another remarkable creature, the undisputed biggest fish in the sea, the whale shark. Averaging around 12 meters, many believe they can reach up to 20. These enormous animals are filter feeders and fuel themselves on tiny organisms like krill, larvae, and small fish. Usually solitary animals, they gather together when rich feeding is available in some part of the world. They have even learned to make the best of the local fishing trade. Taking in huge amounts of quarry-filled water into their cavernous mouths, they then expel the water through their gills, which act like a fine sieve. Anything over two to three centimeters is trapped. With mouths that are over a meter wide, they can process more than 6,000 liters of water per hour. Their sublime grace in the water is one of slow, powerful movement. The white spots and lines that decorate their magnificent blue-gray bodies mimic the dappled sunlight that comes through the surface of the ocean and makes them less conspicuous in the water. The pattern of spots each animal has is unique and can be used to help identify these peaceful giants. Despite having 3,000 tiny teeth in their spectacular mouths, whale sharks neither bite nor chew. It is incredible to believe that this beautiful colossus started its life as a 60 centimeter pup. The tusked elephant, the powerful birds, the enormous hippo, the lofty giraffe, the gigantic whale, which is the mightiest of all.
camouflage cats, hidden lizards, cryptic snakes, shimmering cuttlefish, and concealed chameleons. Birds that blend or invisible spiders. Which is the master of disguise? Some animals will never be inconspicuous. Others blend so perfectly with their surroundings that they can move through them without detection. For many of the cats of Africa, camouflage is key to survival. From the spots of a cheetah, the rosettes of the leopard, and the stripes and dots of the servo, these cats have evolved to merge with their habitat. The outline of an animal, no matter its size, is an easy one to distinguish. Yet if its basic outline is broken, their form is much harder to detect. With markings breaking up any readily identifiable shape, and a coat, the color of the grasslands in which it lives, the sleek serval walks semi-unseen. But it's not all about hiding. The black and white false eye spots on the back of the cat's ears may serve quite a different purpose. These large eye spots may well make the cat appear bigger and more watchful to any potential predators that may be tempted to attack it from the rear. These same enormous ears also afford the serval cat highly sensitive hearing. Preying on low-flying birds, as well as the small animals at its feet, it is able to hunt by sound alone until it gets close to the quarry to pounce. Other cryptic cats have far larger prey in mind. Arguably, the king of camouflage, the leopard blends with the branches of the treetop vantage point. Everything about the muscular leopard appears to have evolved for camouflage and stealth. With eyes the color of leaves, and the dark pigmentation of their rosettes merging with the bark of trees. When this predator does come to the ground, it moves in silence and can approach to within meters of its unsuspecting prey. Leopards vary in their coloration and marking. Those living in grasslands and more open areas have a light yellow background coat, whereas those in more forested areas will tend to be darker with more markings. On most individuals, the rosettes turn to solid spots on both the face and limbs. Leopards are phenomenally strong for their size. A male can drag a carcass three times its own weight, six meters up a tree. Food is often stored here for a later date. The mottled pattern of its markings beautifully conceal this magnificent animal both against the dappled sunlight of the grass and against the broken shadows of the rocky outcrops. Most of the time, this lethal hunter is utterly concealed from its potential prey.
Unlike the leopard, the cheetah does not spend its days in trees and is not a good climber. It does, though, blend equally well with its savanna habitat. Enabling it to get within sprinting distance of its prey, the cheetah's camouflaging spots conceal it in the long grass. Each of the hundreds of solid black dots break up the identifying form of this hunter. For the plains animals of Africa, predators lurk unseen amongst them. Feeding on these harvester ants is a beautiful adapted predator, the regal horned lizard. Merging perfectly with their surroundings, these small reptiles live in the rocky, gravelly, desert-like habitats of Arizona, where they make a living almost exclusively on ants. Prey is scarce enough in the desert, but when 90% of your diet is made up of one species of ant, it takes a lot of time and effort to get your fill and avoid becoming prey yourself. The coloration of these 11 centimeter lizards is well matched to the dry soils and rocks that surround them, but that's not their only camouflage. Experts at remaining motionless, the spines and fringes of their scales lessen their sharp outline and decrease the shadow they cast. Should the hawks, snakes, and coyotes that hunt these horned lizards manage to find them, they have another trick up their sleeve. They can squirt blood from their eyes. Its foul taste is a serious deterrent. A continent away, its distant relative, the thorny devil, has its own ways of hiding in the red deserts of Australia's outback. This multicolored, spiked, patchworked little lizard eats nothing but the ants that scurry across this desolate landscape, sometimes finding thousands to eat in one sitting and plucking them off one at a time. The thorny devil does more than just look incredible. It can change color according to the type of soil it's crossing. It's yellow, orange, brown, red, and white tones altering accordingly. With a bulbous lump of fat on the back of its neck acting as a false head to mislead predators, the thorny devil really is a master of disguise. In the leaf litter of Australia's woodlands and scrubs, hides one of its most cryptic and dangerous snakes, the death adder. The camouflaging patterns of snakes are mesmerizing from the pearly multicolored sheen of the carpet python to the mottled bands of the death adder, snakes can be hidden right before our eyes. Unlike many other snakes that will stalk their prey, the death adder is a resolute ambush predator. With muted fleck bands that range from reddish brown to gray, this stocky snake relies utterly on its camouflage to conceal it from passing in unsuspecting victims. The arrow-shaped head of the death adder leads a thick-set body that seldom reaches a meter in length. Its scales are a perfect match for the browns, tans, and beiges of the fallen leaves and twigs of the undergrowth. With a form that can pass by rocks and through foliage with barely making a sound, for ambush predators, silence 
and patience are key. These snakes can lie in wait for hours, even days, waiting for the right size meal to pass by. When it does, they are quick to strike. They cannot afford to miss the moment. Death adders can help tip the balance in their favor by using their tail as a lure. The creamy tapered end tempting and curious passers-by much closer than they know to the potential jaws of death. Who knows if this mouse knows just how close it is. In the hidden world of camouflage predator, there is always something hiding in plain view. Carpet pythons, the age-old nemesis of the scrub turkey, spend many an hour watching from their branched lookouts. These spectacular pythons are found from the tropical rainforests of northeast Australia to its coastal and arid regions. Their color patterns are massively varied. Those from different habitats tend to have their own unique coloration. For this individual, its green-brown markings blend almost seamlessly with the mosses and leaching of the trees it moves through. One of the larger snakes in Australia, carpet pythons can reach over three and a half meters in length. The mound of the scrub turkey is its castle and home to its incubating eggs. The python and the turkey have been battling it out through evolutionary time. The python ever perfecting its camouflage and stealth, while the turkey ever perfects its defensive strategies. Despite the hidden and silent approach of the hunting snake, the vigilant turkey's attack was enough, and the python coils its unhurried retreat, merging back with the emeralds and greens of the forest. Many animals can hide, and many can disguise themselves to some degree, but few can rival the camouflaging capabilities of the magnificent cuttlefish. Cuttlefish can not only change color, they can also change their shape as well as their texture as they morph through seamless variations of themselves. These amazing mollusks with outwardly smooth skin can alter their texture by furrowing themselves into complex folds and ridges. Simultaneously taking on a blotched pattern, they are indistinguishable from the microhabitat they have chosen to settle on. A mere few meters away, a completely different disguise may be in order. The surface of the cuttlefish's skin can expand by 500%, but rather than lose any richness of color in this massive stretch, they can modulate for this expansion by being their own active light emitters. Gentle undulations of their lateral fins move these animals through the water as they morph their way over the ocean floor, sometimes appearing textured and almost translucent, other times a solid black of color, and others 
monster like in the safety of a crevice. Rapid and graceful changes in color and form are often enough to foil predators. But if they don't work, the cuttlefish has another mask in its armor. The smoke screen that is created by the ink distracts any would-be predator, leaving them searching for a long-gone invisible prey. The iridescent cuttlefish can appear and disappear before our very eyes. Making camouflage in art form are the verdant, sauntering, highly distinctive chameleons that make their homes in rainforests, grasses, trees, and bushes. There are well over 100 species of chameleons around today, ranging from the tiny pygmy chameleon to the prehistoric looking horned chameleon. Most are found in Africa and Madagascar. Testament to the simple principle of camouflage by matching body color to environment, these little reptiles render themselves inconspicuous. Their tongues are like a tethered projectile. Able to shoot out one and a half times their body length, these sticky-ended probes are estimated to reach their target in seven one-hundredth of a second. The flecked, dotted and patchy markings of a chameleon's skin serve to break up their outline and distort the symmetry of their body form. Moving slowly and gently, the disturbance they bring to the leaves is minimal. Prehensile tails help them grip while incredible eyes provide a 360 degree view of the world. The upper and lower eyelids are joined, leaving just the smallest of holes for the pupil to gaze out from. Able to rotate and focus each eye separately, the chameleon can observe two objects simultaneously. Not only does this help the chameleon locate its own prey with pinpoint accuracy, it also helps with its own overall camouflage. The tongues of these insectivorous reptiles have an elastic recoil mechanism, which is much less thermally sensitive than the rest of the lizard. This means that even when cold and sluggish, the ectothermic chameleon can still catch its prey. Famed for their ability to change color, chameleons, already beautifully camouflaged for their environment, actually use color change for more social signaling a visual mark of mood and status, as well as an indicator of territoriality. Darker spots and brighter colors are often shown when angered or fearful. Color changes can happen fast brought on by the expansions and contractions of specialized pigment cells in the different layers of their incredible skin. Mm -hmm. 
In the frozen climes of the Northern Hemisphere winter, Targamans blend against their snowy surroundings. The brown-black plumage that better masked them against the summer tundra has given way to their winter covering of almost pure white. Only their eye patch and tail feathers remain black as their plump bodies take on the camouflaging white feathers of winter, concealing them as they forage on the snow-covered grounds of their home. These ground-feeding birds rummage in the snow for willow buds and twigs, their feathered legs and feet serving as avian snowshoes. Female ptarmigans will molt directly from their winter whites to summer browns. Males, on the other hand, with the red wattle over their eyes, have a transitional plumage as they make the move between summer and winter. The feather changes of these Arctic avians are just one way birds can disguise themselves while out in the open. The bush stone curlew of Australia adapts another tactic. Along with its cryptic coloration, the art of staying incredibly still has been mastered by this delicate looking bird. Found throughout much of Australia, the curlew prefers open woodland and is often found near some of the country's other iconic birds. Usually active at night, the dappled curlew spends its day standing quietly in the shade, merging with the leaf litter it stands on. This uncanny ability to stay almost entirely motionless has led to living birds being mistaken for statues. There is one tiny creature that has evolved a camouflage that is so perfect in its simplicity, it is often overlooked by the casual human observer. Crab spiders. Adapted to their hunting terrain, the crab spiders that are found on the bark and leaves are darker in coloration than those found on flowers. Butterflies, honeybees, and beetles are common prey for the sit-and-wait predatory tactic of the crab spider, as they come to feed on the very flowers that hold their enemy. The spider's sturdy front legs are held to the side in readiness to strike. The free-roving crab spider, also known as the flower spider, is not a web builder, but instead relies on its fabulous camouflage and talent for remaining still sometimes spending days, even weeks, in the same spot. In its search for nectar, the butterfly is seemingly oblivious to the spider's invisible presence. Once caught in its pincer-like front legs, a bite on the head delivers a fast-acting venom that subdues the butterfly. The venom and digestive juices work together to liquefy the internal tissues, and the victim is sucked dry. Which has the best camouflage of all? Is it the spotted cats? The earth-colored lizard? The leaf-colored snakes? The shimmering cuttlefish? Or the ever-changing chameleon? Blended birds? 
or even the invisible spider. Warm tropical waters of the world's oceans are home to a dazzling array of beautiful marine life. In the shallow waters live stationary animals that look more like plants with their long waving tentacles. They are home to some of the most famous and most brightly colored of all the fish in the sea. Cloud anemone fish live their lives in the safe confines of a single anemone, dancing through its tentacles, their bright colors flashing in and out. There are 28 different species of anemone fish with different shades of orange, yellow, red, and even black. Most also have white stripes or patches along their bodies. Before taking up residence in their chosen anemone, these jolly-looking ocean dwellers perform an elaborate dance with their new host, gently touching its tentacles until they are accustomed to it. Clownfish one of the very few fish lucky enough to have this relationship with an anemone. For many other animals, these tentacles can spell danger. Anemones are in the same group of animals as jellyfish and have powerful stinging cells, but they do not harm their resident clownfish, which are covered in a layer of mucus that protects them from the anemone's otherwise lethal sting. Both partners get something out of the relationship. Protected from predators and supplied with a safe place to live, the little clownfish keeps the anemone clean. Not much more than 10 centimeters long, these adorable little fish would make a great snack to a moray eel. These prehistoric looking fish stay in crevices and holes and like to ambush unsuspecting passers-by. Clownfish are homebodies and don't stray too far or too long from the safety of their stinging residence. Outside of its protection, it's not just eels, but also sharks, stingrays, and bigger fish that may try to eat it. They are so protective of their beautiful living home that these feisty little fish will see off unwanted visitors to the anemone. Although other fish have many places to hide, what is extra special about the relationship between the clownfish and its anemone is that they actually eat leftovers of each other's food. As fish and plankton waft over this undulating carpet anemone, both it and the clownfish that live in it can feast on the bounties the water brings. The oceans abound with delicate and beautiful creatures like these tiny transparent glass shrimp. But no matter how pretty, few can compete with the big-eyed, fast-finned, happy-looking clownfish. These dazzling little balls 
balls of bright orange must surely be some of the cutest creatures in the sea. Thousands upon thousands of kangaroos found over the countryside. Their superpower legs are four to hop. Leaping through the outback, these furry marsupials can speed along at over 60 kilometers an hour, and they start practicing as soon as they're out of the pouch. Iconic kangaroo is so well loved throughout Australia, it has become a symbol of the country and is seen on coins, on the coat of arms, on car stickers, and on countless road signs. With their alert and inquisitive faces, the endearing kangaroo's curiosity is never satisfied, and they're seemingly always on the lookout for something. And not the curious, but the Joey, taking his first glimpses of the outside. Kangaroos are gentle and caring mothers. While she feeds and cares for one joey that is now at her feet, she will have another smaller developing joey in her pouch. Both her young will be fed on separate formulas of milk. Both these belts will change composition for each of her joeys as they grow and their needs change. From the safety of his mother's pouch, this Joey will take his first nibbles of grass. Kangaroos don't tend to spend much time alone. Instead, family groups come together to form much larger mobs. Each family group will be made up of a dominant male and several females and their young. As they bound along, the mothers in the group will pull their pouches tightly towards themselves, keeping their joeys secure inside. The beautiful bounding leap of a kangaroo can cover over nine meters at a time as its spring-loaded legs propel it forward. Its strong and graceful tail used for steering, stability, and balance. Like all young animals, kangaroos need to practice the skills of adulthood. Although sometimes, entering into the outside world seems to be done with much caution. When the time comes, adult males box, breaking their opponent's heads and chest with sharp claws. They kick out with hind legs and grow stronger and stronger since the day they were born. Their tails are so strong that they can support their entire bodies as powerful hind legs kick, and forearms seem to both lash out and hold on at the same time. It seems like no matter who is doing the fighting, boxing is a spectator sport. displays of strength will decide on the hierarchy and dominance of the males. Claws are not always used for fighting. Oftentimes, they're much better suited to scratching an annoying itch, although some do that a lot faster than others. The sharp claws can be 
not so gentle as the peaceful kangaroos tend to each other. These furry, family-oriented, affectionate creatures that grace the Australian bush are undoubtedly the most endearing of the outback. The stunning monarch butterfly that fills the sky are some of the most beautiful and delicate of all the world's insects. These small wind wonders migrate over 4,000 kilometers to and from their hibernation sites. Incredibly, no single butterfly goes each way, but somehow the same routes are traveled year after year. Millions of monarch butterflies take to the skies every autumn and fly from the cooler parts of North America to the warmer climates of Mexico and California, where they can survive the winter. They are the only butterflies known to make such a massive journey. Adult monarchs feed purely on liquid and select their favorite nectars from a variety of plants. The life of these exquisite butterflies is complex and dazzling and happens in a number of stages. Tiny eggs are laid exclusively on milkweed plants, lined with a waxy layer to stop it from drying out and surrounded by a protective shell. After only four days, the tiny larvae creep out. These minute caterpillars have got just one mission, to eat as much as they can. Eating the egg case from which they have just emerged, they begin to munch, and munch, and munch, and will eat nothing but milk. The organic compounds in the milk leaf plant that these hungry larvae eat will remain with them and make the adult butterflies foul tasting and poisonous to predators. Growing daily, they become more and more colorful, until at their full 5 centimeters, they are a dazzling bright yellow, white and black eating machine. These creepy caterpillars need to store up enough energy to get them through the next phase of life, during which they will not eat. Able to grow no more, the caterpillar attaches to a stem by a silk pad. It creates a hard protective case around itself and turns into a vibrantly colored chrysalis. Inside here, one of nature's greatest wonders takes place, as the hidden caterpillar undergoes its metamorphosis into a fully formed butterfly. On the morning it emerges, the butterfly will hang from its split chrysalis for several hours until it is sure its wings are completely dry. Crinkled from having been cramped inside the chrysalis, the butterfly pumps fluid into its magnificent wings until they are full and strong enough for it to spread them and fly off to feed on the flowers of its new world. The veins that pattern the deep orange and white wings are darker on the slightly smaller females, while the males have a black dot in the middle of each of their rear wings.
tiny coiled proboscis unravel to suck up the sweet nectar that they will feast on for the remainder of their lives. Most monarchs will only live as adults for a few weeks and die after laying eggs for the next generation. In one year, there will be four generations of these, the prettiest of butterflies. But only one of these generations will make the incredible migrations that they are known for. The great-grandchildren of the last generation will themselves prepare for the greatest flight of the butterfly world. With their graceful, delicate, and spectacular lives, these are by far the most captivating of insects. Budgerigars, or budgies, are social nomadic little parrots that come together in their hundreds to fly in lively, undulating flocks. Despite living in the dry landscapes of Australia, budgies have a preference for drinking and bathing every day, and are usually found not too far from the water. from the color of their hair, the area at the base of their beak. In males, this is bright blue, while in females, it is a pale brown. With their sturdy beaks and thick, flexible tongues, they get all the energy they need from the grass seeds they forage for in the mornings. The males of these monogamous couples court their females by nudging her beak and by bobbing their heads towards her sometimes offering food. It is the female budgie that will incubate the small white eggs she has laid. Concentrating on keeping her eggs safe and warm, her partner will bring her food during the three weeks it will take before their eggs hatch. Featherless, blind, and unable to even lift their heads, these newly hatched chicks are utterly helpless. There may be different sized chicks inside the nest as budgies lay their eggs at different times. There can be as much as two weeks difference between the first and the last chick to hatch. By two weeks old, down is starting to be covered by feathers and the males have joined the females in helping to keep the hungry and fast-growing chicks fed. By the time they are 30 days old, these young birds will start to stretch out their wings and strengthen them. Although they are starting to look like adults, their parents will continue to feed and protect them for some time. When their wings are strong, usually at just five to six weeks old, they will take their first wings. Budgies have survived in the harsh beauty of Australia for the last five million years. Highly social birds, their early mornings are spent preening and singing and moving within trees before they fly off to the foraging trail. Vast wooden flocks and the tens of thousands of these pretty to cute little parents as they swarm and speak over the best of New Orleans. Surely, these are some of the prettiest of all birds.
The adorable, soft-furred, cuddly koala is one of the world's most well-loved little creatures and one of Australia's favorite residents. Among the eucalypt forests and woodlands of eastern Australia, these enigmatic little animals spend most of their lives in trees. Not actually a bear at all, the koala is a marsupial, and like other marsupials, the females carry their young in a pouch for the first few months. Like kangaroos, young koalas are also called joeys. By the time this joey is just over six months, she will start to feed herself. Up until now, her mother has been passing on the microorganisms needed to inoculate herself for life of feeding. Young koalas need their mothers until they are about one year old, and some a lot more than others. The koalas have a sultry, lolloping gait. When they need to, these usually ultra slow animals can really move. Excellent mothers, females are very tolerant of the young, who will pop back into the pouch for milk until they can't fit anymore. Carrying them around on their backs, mother and Joey are very close, and the young Joey will sleep curled up in his mother's lap. Koalas sleep and rest for 20 hours every day, conserving the precious energy they get from the low-nutrient eucalyptus leaves they survive on. Sometimes there is reason to be awake. The first few months out of the pouch is a dangerous time for a young Joey. Its mother's strong claws and gripping paws carry them further up a tree and away from danger as well as koalas, pythons, wedge-tailed eagles, and dingoes can all pose a threat to a young koala. From their treetop lookouts, koalas are surrounded by their eucalyptus buffet. But eucalyptus leaves are half water, almost 20% fiber, and 13% tannins. Koalas need to chew through over a kilo a day to keep up even their relaxed lifestyle. When the rains come, koalas don't move out of their trees. They just get wet. Curling into a tiny ball, they huddle inside their waterproof coats. With long muscular legs and grasping strong claw digits, koalas are truly excellent climbers. Their forefeet have a split hand design that helps them hold onto tree trunks and branches with a super strong grip. Yet, at the same time, they are so gentle with their young. These adorable, furry, sleepy animals are sure enough to melt anyone's heart. Gentle kangaroos, super furry koalas, delicate butterflies, bright orange clownfish, or cheerful budgies. Which is the cutest of them all?
were the king of beasts, the lion. Which one is the most dangerous? Giraffes are eternally majestic. Buffalo, formidable, but with their golden fur, regal mane, and fearsome presence, lions are known as the king of beasts. Lions have been celebrated throughout history for their majesty, courage, and strength. Kings and queens have taken the lion as a symbol of dominance and leadership. The largest of all carnivores on the African plains, lions are smaller and faster than the tigers of Asia. The thick flowing mane of an adult male grows darker as they age. These regal manes not only soften an enemy's blow, they also add to the size and fearsome appearance of the males, warning other lions not to challenge them. Even more impressive than its mane is its roar. The thundering sound of a lion defending its territory can be heard from eight kilometers away. The unseen presence of a lion sparks fear in the animals of the plane. The lion certainly lives a life fit for a king. They sleep around 20 hours a day. A lion's leisure time is usually only interrupted by the hunt for food. It is the females that do most of the hunting, using deadly teamwork or work together to bring down the mightiest of prey. Show no mercy as they tear the world, strangling and suffocating to victory as theirs. These merciless hunters are also caring mothers with deep maternal instincts who will protect their cubs against the other predators of the plains, no matter what the cost. seen dangers for all of those that live on the savanna. The air suddenly becomes heavier. It's hard to breathe. Animals begin to get nervous. Senses are alerted, trying to work out where the danger is coming from. Their highly developed senses of smell have detected smoke in the air, and this means real danger. Run as far and as fast as possible to avoid being trapped by the approaching flames. In all directions, the animals of the flames flee for their lives. When fire blazes through the savanna, it's terrifying for those animals who can escape, and fatal for those who can't. Separated by the flames, some are cut off from the rest of the pride. It is vital for the lioness to take refuge and to protect her cubs. All she can do is wait in fear for the flames to recede. Lions are opportunist hunters and will attempt to take any prey, regardless of its age, sex, condition, or size. It takes coordinated teamwork to bring down the tallest animal on Earth. It's a difficult and dangerous pursuit. In this remarkable display of courage, strength, and sheer tenacity, the Pride launched an attack on the tallest animal on Earth, the giraffe. It's a daring and risky hunt. The giraffe is attacked from behind, while other members of the Pride surround the mighty beast, preventing it from escaping. The giraffe is five times taller and more than five times heavier than the lions. Prey this size is no easy hunt. The giraffe's hook is the size of a dinner plate and is capable of killing a lion. A barely habitable burnt corner of earth, parched and sun-drenched. Once the sun is set and temperatures drop, 
the nighttime wilderness becomes a very dangerous place. Danger lurks in the form of a sharpened spike loaded with toxic venom. It could be waiting anywhere, under a rock, in your shoe, or even in your bed. These are scorpions. Scorpions have been around for over 400 million years. They've seen the rise and the fall of the mighty dinosaur and will probably outlast mankind. They can survive massive doses of radiation and are protected by their hard outer skeleton. Armed with their toxic tail and crushing claws, they wait for the sun to go down before they start their search for prey. There are almost 2,000 species of scorpion, differing in size, habitat, and the toxicity of their venom. Babylonian astrologers included the scorpion in their zodiac during the Bronze Age. People born under the sign are thought of as aloof and vengeful. In Greek mythology, Scorpius was a giant scorpion sent by the Earth goddess Gaia to slay the giant Orion. Some of the most deadly species of scorpion are found in North Africa. During the day, they seek out quiet, dark hiding places. Although scorpions have several pairs of tiny eyes which are spread all over their bodies, it is the minuscule hairs that cover their legs which help them hunt. The hairs pick up even the most subtle of vibrations, helping the scorpion to determine the location of its prey and the direction it is moving, preparing it to be ready to strike with its venom-injecting bar. Its tough vice-like pincer claws are used in defense and to crush their victims. The rocks and stones of the underground come alive as the silent scorpions come out in search of their prey of spiders and insects. Most human fatalities are children who are more vulnerable to their venom. The scorpion is not dangerous to humans because it is aggressive, but because of its desire to seek out dark places and shelters to hide in during the day. Nearly all attacks on humans are in self-defense. Most scorpions are solitary and will attempt to kill and eat other scorpions that invade their territory. Venomous scorpions tend to have weaker looking pincers and thin bodies. Their strength lies with the toxins in their tail. Most accidental stings to humans are on the hand or foot, occurring when a scorpion is disturbed while hiding in crevices or burrows. Scorpions kill over 3,000 people every year. The venom of these small killers can be compared to that of the king cobra. Both are neurotoxins, fast acting and bring about death by heart and respiratory failure in their victims. Out of the 2,000 species of scorpion, roughly 25 of them are deadly to humans. It's no wonder that these prehistoric creatures are one of the most feared in all of the animal kingdom. In amongst the desert cactus and dried earth is the scorpion's next meal. Scurrying across the ground, its deadly weapons are ready to strike. Tough claws grasp its victim. The syringe-like barb of the scorpion's tail pierces its prey and injects the fast-acting neurotoxin. Its molecules are rapidly absorbed, attacking the central nervous system and paralyzing the nerves that control breathing. Venom is delivered with surgical precision, paralyzing its prey in an instant. Once paralyzed, the scorpion emits its stomach juices onto the prey, sucking up the liquefied food with the victim still clamped between its mighty claws. Some species of scorpions can live up to 10 years in these harsh environments, equipped with the weapons to survive. Scurrying back into darkness, is the scorpion the most dangerous predator on land. Long legs that weave inescapable snares, spiderlings that hatch in their hundreds, and fangs that inject lethal venom into their prey. Spiders strike fear into many people. In Greek mythology, the great weaving god Arachne was turned into the first spider, while in Japanese mythology, shape-shifting demons often take a spider leaf.
Tunnel web spiders are among the most deadly spiders in the world. And of all of them, the Sydney funnel web is arguably the most lethal. Aggressive and easily agitated, the funnel web is quick to bite. This nocturnal ground hunter of beetles, cockroaches, and small lizards, with an abdomen the size of a human thumb, is a walking messenger of death. The venom glands attached to the funnel web's fangs contain a complex cocktail of highly virulent chemicals. With a vertical strike downward, pointing fangs pierce through body casing, and a measured dose of fast-acting venom is delivered. This cricket will get a higher dose than would, say, a small insect. When the Sydney funnel web decides to deliver its maximum dose, it can kill a human, and this species is likely to be responsible for all human deaths from funnel webs. These deadly spiders are not just found in crevices, rocks, and logs. They are often drawn out of their silk-lined burrows by rain and flooding. The more venomous males have been known to wander into city gardens and houses in search of females. Like scorpions, they too have been found in shoes and clothes discarded on the floor. While the funnel web can bring danger and potential death to humans, there is another incredible spider that brings death to its own kind. The one centimeter Porsche spider has evolved to selectively hunt other spiders, specializing not only on other jumping spiders, but also on the web builders. The beautifully camouflaged Porsche spider exploits the poor eyesight of others as it merges with any leaf fragments caught in their webs. With the second most acute eyesight in the animal world, this eagle-eyed, intelligent spider can learn, problem solve, and remember, learning the best combat tactic for their selected victim. Using camouflage to detour along rocks to perform an ambush attack is just one. Skilled at running on the silken webs of at least 11 different families of spiders, Porsches can mimic the vibration patterns not only of a trapped insect, but also of the courtship signals of the spiders it hunts. If this lures the spider out, they keep doing it until the unsuspecting prey is within striking distance. With its fangs outstretched, the tiny Porsche spider injects its fast-acting venom. This combination of intelligence, memory, and stealth make the Porsche spider a truly deadly adversary. Others rely more on pure brawn. Palm-sized tarantulas with a leg span bigger than a book are hard to miss. While their bite may not be fatal to humans, to the insects, frogs, and mice it preys on, the tarantula is a bristled and deadly foe.
Snakes have fascinated and terrified humans for thousands of years. In many parts of the world, they are worshipped as protectors and creators. But some cultures fear snakes as devils and symbols of vengeance and death. Whether as an evil power or symbol of fertility, the snake is a powerful image. It represents both immortality and death, male and female, deity and demon, killer and healer, the highest of wisdom as well as the chaos from the underworld. Mysterious movement, lethal venom, suffocating grip, or lightning strike. The snake has a commanding reputation throughout the world. Every year, more than 5 million people suffer snake bites. Over 100,000 of them die. They hate sensing organs, an acute sense of smell, and the ultimate flexible body. Snakes track down their victims. The bite is the lethal weapon of venomous snakes. Their fangs deliver toxins straight into their victims' bodies, causing paralysis, and in some cases, death. These snakes are strictly horrendous, killing and eating small animals, monsters, mammals, birds, fish, insects, and other snakes. Asia is home of the legendary King Cobra, a dynamic hunter that preys on other snakes and delivers huge amounts of powerful venom. Measuring more than five meters, the King Cobra is the longest venomous snake in the world. Snakes can't bite or tear their food into pieces. They swallow their prey whole. They use their highly developed sense of smell to track their prey. Hundreds of vertebrae in the snake's spine give them their incredible flexibility. With their constantly moving forked tongues, they collect airborne particles which they pass into their mouths for chemical analysis, providing them vital information about their surroundings. Some snakes kill by constriction. Some snakes use their venom to kill or paralyze their prey before eating it, while others swallow their prey whole and still alive. Out walking, you never know what could be lurking by your feet. It only takes a second for a snake to strike. If the snake were poisonous, this young girl will have very serious problems. Is the snake, with its venom-filled lightning strike, the land's most dangerous predator? survived the breakup of the Earth's continents. They even survived the Ice Ages. While most other animals have gone through remarkable evolutionary changes in order to survive, crocodiles have remained virtually the same for millions of years. Slowing their heartbeat down to two or three beats per minute, and with a transparent eyelid, a crocodile can wait underwater until it sees its prey.
Madagascar's Anivarana Lake. For its local people, Lake Anivarana was sacred. Legend says that a wizard dressed as a passerby walked through the town and asked its people for a drink of water, but they refused him. The wizard flooded the town to punish them for not satisfying his thirst. Since that time, the locals believe that the crocodiles are sacred, the reincarnated spirits of their ancestors. To win favor with the crocodiles, the people perform ceremonies to appease them, offering them meat from a freshly slaughtered zebra. The crocodile feeds on the offering of the villagers. The ceremony comes to an end, when a young man from the village hangs the head of a zebu on top of a column a column which is already adorned with the skulls from previous rituals. You never know what a crocodile is going to do. With only its eyes and nostrils above the water, these are perfect ambush predators. The biggest reptile on Earth the mighty saltwater crocodile explodes from the water with outstretched jaws. Crocodiles are perfectly adapted for hunting in water. Powerful swimming muscles and clawed web feet make them excellent swimmers. At home in the ocean, saltwater crocodiles can often be seen out at sea. Which is the most dangerous of all predators on land? The majestic lion, the venomous snake, the fang spider, the poisonous scorpion, the ancient crocodile, or is it mankind?